Hello? Hey, can I call you back? Well, I'm extremely busy right now. Yeah, I'll do that. Bye. Hi, friends. Neharika. Welcome back. Now, you know, these days we all lead such a busy life. And it just seems that we will never be able to get off that treadmill. We don't have time to rest. We hardly get any time to spend with friends and family. So how do you really describe being busy? Well, in English, we have a lot of expressions and slang terms that can be used to talk about being busy. And that's what we are going to learn in today's lesson. So let's get started. Now, firstly, we are going to learn how to use the word busy. Okay, many a times when people ask you, hey, what are you doing? And you end up saying, oh, I'm busy cleaning or I'm busy working. So how you end up using the word busy? It's very simple. If you are talking about uh, being busy in the past, then you are going to say, I was busy and then followed by the verb in the ing form. So like, hey, what were, you, what were you doing last evening? Oh, I was busy working or I was busy cleaning. Okay, so this sentence will be only used to talk about being busy in the past. And if you're busy right now, that's in present. So how do you use the word busy? Well, it's simple. I am busy cleaning or I am busy working. All right, so that's how you would end up using the word busy in the present form. All right, that's simple. Now let's get to see some expressions that you can use to talk about being busy. The very first one that I have for you is busy as a beaver. So what's a beaver? Well, beaver is an animal who is known to be very hardworking and is extremely industrious. So, if you end up using the expression busy as a beaver, it means that you're extremely busy, just like the animal beaver. So, it's like you're comparing yourself with the animal beaver. Now, beaver, as I said, is known for their hard work and is extremely industrious, and they're known to build their own habitat. So when you end up saying, like someone would ask you, hey Neharika, how you been? And I would say, oh, I am busy as a beaver. So why am I saying that? Because maybe I have too much of work. I have been working late nights, too much of overtime. So it means that I am working hard. Probably I'm working on a project and I'm spending a lot of time doing that. So I have no extra time and hence I am very busy and therefore I am using the phrase I am busy as a beaver. Okay, so when you're extremely busy, you can use this phrase. Let's get to the next phrase here, a lot on one's plate. Now here, we're not talking about our dinner plate we where we have too much of food. Now it's just talking about being busy. So again, when you are extremely busy, okay, when you have too much of work and you're probably multitasking, it means that you have a lot on your plate. So my colleague comes to me and says, Hey Neharika, could you please help me with this? And I am like, oh, I don't think so because I already have too much of work to do. So therefore, rather than just saying, I am very busy, I'm sorry, I can't help you with this, I would use this phrase. Oh, I'm sorry, pal, 
I have a lot on my plate right now, so I would be unable to help you out. Okay? That sounds better, isn't it? So, a lot on one's plate, it means that you are very busy. It means you have too much of work to do already, right? Let's have a look at another term here, which is slammed. Now, slammed is a slang term. So, please use it only with your friends and family. Do not use it with your boss or with your clients. Now, slammed is again, well, it has two meanings. Have you heard about, she slammed the door at me. So it means that she shut the door on me. Okay, shut it very hard. But here, I am slammed with too much of work. So it means that I am very busy. Again, you can use it with your colleagues if you want. So you're upset about having so much of work to do. So you are discussing it with your colleagues and you end up saying, uh, don't ask, I am slammed with work, so no weekend for me. So it means that you are going to be very busy this weekend because you have too much of work to do. Okay, so that's how you can use this slang term. Or, for example, your mom says, hey, could you please get some groceries from the market? And you're like, oh no mom, I am slammed with too much of work. I can't get the groceries right now. Okay, so these are a few examples uh, about how you can use these terms. Another one, biz. Uh, well, apparently she's biz, so she's not answering my call. Well, what does this term really mean? Well, again, it's a slang term. used for being busy, okay? Well, the word busy itself is such a short word, but hey, a shorter word than the word busy is biz. So it's nice to use, it sounds really nice. So you can say, well, uh, John has been really biz with his work these days. So it just means that he's been very busy these days, okay? Now let's have a look at another term here, which is to be snowed under. Now imagine that uh, you are uh, maybe in a park and it starts snowing and you just get snowed under. It's like snow on top of you. So it means that you're snowed under, right? But then what's the point of using this phrase if you're busy? Well, here actually it means that you are snowed under with work. So you are so busy and it's because you have too much of workload on you. Okay? So when you are So if you are overloaded with work it means that you are snowed under a lot of work, okay? So, for example, uh, again, it can be used in the corporate world because, yes, as I said, that at work these days we are so busy because there's too much of work to do. So, you can use it with your colleagues like, um, well, you know, this project is coming up and we have to meet our targets as well. So it means that I am extremely busy. So use this phrase rather than saying, I am extremely busy. You can say, oh, I am snowed under this project. So which means that you have a lot of things to do and you have no free time. Okay, now let's have a look at last word over here. Again, slammed, which is a slang term. And it is used similarly uh, as the word slammed, okay? So this is swamped and this is slammed. They're very easy words. So swamped is, uh, again, when you are very busy. 
Aha, uh -huh, that's simple, right? So when you are slammed with work or probably, uh, let's say that you don't want to attend a party and someone is inviting you over and is pestering you that, hey, you should come for the party, but you know, you want to nicely say no. So you want to show that you're busy with work and so you can use this term. Oh, you know what? I'm afraid I won't be able to make to the party because I am swamped with too much of work or I am swamped with too much of office work okay so that's how you can use this term so these are very simple terms that you can use in your daily conversations because as i said that these days we all lead very busy lives so rather than just saying i am busy use these expressions and also we learned how to use the word busy when you use it in the past you would say i was busy plus the verb, okay, in the ing form. And if you are using it in present, then you are going to say, I am busy, followed by the verb in the ing form. All right, I'll be back with a new lesson. Till then, you take care.